Okay, here I am uh, cutting the uh, 10 degree gear to match my 80 degree uh, helical gear uh, that the previous video showed. I've got the uh, spindle and the gear blank going into the cutter at a uh, 10 degree angle and I've reversed the cutter direction on this and running the lathe backwards because for this particular operation I'll be pushing the gear into the cutter rather than pulling it backward through the cutter. Uh, I have a uh, <clears throat> brass blank in the uh, lathe that is uh, turned to uh, 0.355 inches which will be the overall diameter of the final gear and uh, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and uh, see if we can uh, cut a gear uh, from this angle to show you what it looks like. Taking this very slow because it's uh... okay. Well, there you see I'm cutting, I'm following the thing I already cut. So uh, let's uh, pull out the pin, move it over two holes, and turn the cutter. All right. So now we will cut a fresh tooth. Wow, there's no real tendency for this thing to kick back. I do have to keep that um, aluminum template pushed solidly against the bearing. And we'll turn the lathe off and then we'll pull it back. And uh, there's that gear. And I'll move the pin two more holes up, one twelfth of a turn and engage the pin. Maybe. Now, let's see if I can get a little bit different angle on the uh, camera here so you can see kind of what it looks like. Let's try it from over on this side and see what it looks like. No, nope, that's not going to work, so we'll go back over here. And uh, look at it from about this angle and see how that looks. Turn on the lathe. And cut another two. See, I am cutting full depth there, which is about uh, 56 thousandths of an inch for a 40 pitch tube. I'm going to turn the lathe off as I retract that. Just because I think that's the prudent thing to do. I'll move to the next hole. And we'll cut one more gear. And we'll stop it there.